Hello class. Today we're going to talk about functions. So I put this kind of image on there today because it's got you know, several other little posters that deal with functions on there. And this is basically just some algebra information. Okay, and you'll notice right here it says a function is any relationship between inputs and outputs where each input leads to exactly one output. It's one of the things that we're going to be looking at today. So just kind of be prepared for that. Okay. So today is curriculum review part 14 relations and functions so the first couple of things it says a relation this is one of the the first definitions we had if you remember when we did this lesson the first time and a relation is any set of ordered pairs written as x comma y okay so a relation can be any set of ordered pairs okay now there are four ways that we look at this four different ways to write a relation you can have a list of ordered pairs you could have a mapping, you could have a table of values, which we also call a t-chart, and you could call a graph. Each one of those deal with that x-y relationship. Okay? Now, in order for a relation to be a function, it has to meet certain conditions. Okay, so it says a function is a rule taking each input value, which is each of our x values, okay, and producing exactly one output value. So if you remember when we talked about functions, the X is king. The X has to be unique. So if at any point in time in your relation that you're looking at, if the X values repeat each other, then we know that that is not representing a function. Okay? Now this is kind of a graphic off of the, the video that we watched in class. So if you want to go back and watch this video, here is a link that you can, you can use. And I will also put this link in classroom so you can watch this lovely video that um, we watched about relations and functions. Okay, so let's talk about a few things. Okay, so got a, a listing of points here and it says, am I a function? Okay, so as we, we know that we can do a list of ordered pairs as a relationship. Okay, so what we're trying to do is determine is this representing a function? And what we're basically looking at when we look at any of these is we're looking at the x value of the coordinate. Now we know in this coordinate, each of these values, the first number represents our x and the second number represents our y. Okay? So we're looking for the x values and that's really all we need to look at. So in this one we've got an x value of 3, x value of 3, negative 2, and 0. So if all of my x values are unique, then we know it is a function. So this one right here, is it an example of a function? No, it is not, because we've got these two threes right here for our x values. So this is not a function. It does not meet the definition of a function, where a function is a rule taking each input, each x value, and producing only one output value, which is our y. And this one right here, when I plug this 3 into the expression, I get a 2 out. But when I plug this 3 in, I get a 3 out. You can't get two different things coming out of the expression. Now a mapping. A mapping is kind of a unique situation where, uh, and this was kind of the, one of the new ones that we had, where the first circle represents all of our x values, and the second circle represents all of our y values. And we could take each one of these things and we could write out a set of ordered pairs based on these lines. Now this particular thing is the same exact numbers that we have right here. Okay, So the ordered pairs here, this one says 3 maps to 2, but 3 also maps to 3. And that part right there tells me that this is not a function, okay? So it cannot go to two different values. It can only go to one value, okay? Now the y value, this x value, each of these x values can produce the same y value, but each uh, x value has to be unique, okay? So this one, not a function. This one, the same kind of thing, and all three of these are representing the same amount, okay? So here we've got negative two, zero, zero, negative one, three, two, but then here is, that double up the two threes there. You cannot have two of the same value to represent X. Okay. Cause if I put it, take this value right here, which is our independent value. I plug it into an expression kind of like three X plus four. If I were to plug that three in, I'm only going to get one value out of it. Okay, I cannot get multiple values. And that's what we're talking about by that X value needing to be unique. Now we have one other way of looking at this and that is in a graph. Now, if you remember correctly, in order to determine if a graph is a function, we do what we call the vertical line test, which some of you call the pencil test, where I take this pencil, I move it across, it hits that line, hits that point there. But if it hits two points at the same time, then we know it's not a function. So this one right here is not a function. Okay, this one right here 
hits once, hits once, hits once, hit once. Okay, so this one is a function. Okay, so we can do what we call the vertical line test to test any graph to determine whether or not it's a function. Okay, so what about these two graphs? Would they be functions? Again, we look at our vertical line test. If I can take this vertical line and move it all the way across that graph right there, and it only hit the graph one time, then yes, that is a function. So this first one, yes, it's a function. The second one, if I move it all the way across, you'll notice that this vertical line is now hitting the graph in two different places. So that tells me that is not a function. Okay, so for the vertical line test for a graph, it can only hit the graph one time. Okay, so that's basically what functions are all about. We know that x is king. This x-axis is the one that is the most important. You can only have one y value for each x value. Okay, so that's what we've got to look at. We've got to make sure that our x values are unique. Okay, so what I'd like for you to do is there's a couple ways of doing this today. Okay, you could go to this particular link and create this, but, but we have been given the go ahead to go ahead and start providing new material starting next week. So the information in classroom is going to be a little different. Okay, so I'm going to be putting the, the assignments in a different spot this time as opposed to just following along in the stream. Okay, so uh, just kind of be prepared for that. I'll put out another video once I get everything set up in classroom to show you exactly what it is that I want you to do. Okay, but you've got four questions today to, to review yourself over functions. Okay, question number one deals with a listing of points. Which one is not a function? A mapping. Again, this one says which mapping shown below represents a function. So this one is which one is a function. Okay, which graph represents y as a function of x? So again, use the vertical line test to determine this. And then lastly, with a t-chart. Okay, so which table of values represents y as a function of x? Okay, so this is part 14, dealing with relations and functions. So until next time, see you later.